Friends, you've probably seen them all over Instagram and TikTok recently, hot cocoa bombs. So we went to our baker extraordinary, Jyoti, to see how they are made. And Jyoti, I'm so excited for this. How do we start? Me too. These are like all the rage right now. I need to show you how versatile they are. Aren't they so pretty? That is gorgeous. Did you make that one? They are, yeah. <laughs> They're so fun to make. So I'm gonna take you through it. Okay. So, so easy. You gotta pick your chocolate. So you can do a dark chocolate, a milk chocolate, or a white chocolate. We're gonna do milk chocolate today. Yes. So good. And you wanna start with your milk chocolate in a stainless steel bowl. And you wanna have some water going on in a pot on your stove. Okay. While we're waiting for the water to simmer up, you wanna get a piping bag or a Ziploc bag ready. I just like to pop mine into a glass with chocolate goes in a lot easier. I am super clumsy, so I like to get things everywhere. We're not doing that. And then you also want your molds. So these molds are available literally everywhere right now. You can go with a silicone one. These ones are super easy. Once your chocolate sets, it pops right out. Mm -hmm. Or if you want a larger hot cocoa bomb like mine, find these little ornaments. They're available at any craft store. They're even available online. And you get a super, like, it's like a statement piece um, hot cocoa bomb. It's just larger. It's yeah. just tastier. There's so much more you can put in there. So we're going to get this chocolate over our hot water bath. You just want to melt it down. It doesn't take long at all. And if you're doing like a white chocolate, you can totally add some food color to it that you get like the cotton candy sort of vibe. You want to grab your mold and I'm just going to grab a spoon and spoon in my melted chocolate. You could totally even just wiggle this around and get your chocolate everywhere. But if you want to make it easier, just grab any kind of brush that you have and just brush it mm -hmm. on the inside of your mold. So easy. And then what I like to do is once it's all brushed into my mold like that, I like to pop mine into the freezer. And the key with popping them into the freezer is it just makes for them to release out of the mold so much quicker. So literally you just give it a little tug oh. and your bomb is out of the mold. And it's so perfect. You can literally fill them and then you just use a little bit of chocolate and you just seal these guys up. We'll fill this one super quickly. You can use anything. I like to use my favorite hot chocolate mix. I love um, mint hot chocolate. So I like to use like a mint hot chocolate. So I like to fill it just about halfway on one side. And then you're gonna pile in all the marshmallows because mm -hmm. what is hot chocolate without marshmallows? And then you're gonna grab the other side of your sphere. You want a hot pan, make sure it's not too hot. Otherwise, and if, 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 you know, if kids are doing this, you definitely wanna ensure that an adult is involved because where there is hot pans, you, I want to make sure no one burns themselves. And then the mold just sort of sticks. You're going to grab your bomb. This is a really pretty dark chocolate bomb. Uh -huh. I like to put mine in like a clear mug. I love to see all the magic happen. <laughs> My milk is like super hot. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to grab it. And then you want to pour slowly. Okay. I'm watching. Oh. It's exploded. Woo! baby that so is good. like luxe chunky chocolate goodness and i would have done it the same way i would have done the milk chocolate with the with the marshmallows and the good hot cocoa flavored hot cocoa amazing joti thank you